Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0, and today is day 45. So over the past two days, we've been walking through the process of creating an email design. Today, we're gonna to take a look at what the preview of that email design is. We're gonna talk about team logos, if you don't have a team logo. And then finally, we're gonna talk about how to send out that design, kind of doing a throwback to day 33. So first of all, let's go back into designs and open up the design that we have been working on the past couple of days. We can do that by clicking on the paintbrush icon and then clicking on our design. If you will remember, underneath the options menu, we have the ability to send a test email. Highly recommend you do that every time you create a design. Do it periodically just to kind of see how it's looking so you can always go back and make some edits and changes. So here is what the email test looks like inside of designs. So this is what it looked like when it first came over. Just as a heads up, know that this won't be your subject line. You're gonna choose your subject line inside of the campaign. Also, this won't say demo MC, this will actually say your name. Now I have gotten some feedback that this agent at mailer.kw.com is kind of weird. Guys, just a heads up, this is your Keller Williams ID, so your KWUID or QUID number. Um, this is so that the system can track how many emails you're sending out. Remember, you get 5,000 emails per month for free. That's the reason why each of us has our own mailer.kw.com account such that it can keep up with. So I wouldn't get too hung up about this part. Remember, your name will be in bold here uh, when you send out that actual email. So looking through, everything looks good. Uh, remember, we've got the legal header, we've got the text component, the image component, we created a button, then we did the listing block, we did the event block, then we brought in a video, and then finally we brought in the legal footer. Now here was the issue that I ran into looking at this preview with the legal footer it brings in automatically as part of the legal footer the market center team logo well in this demo account i'm i'm not a team i'm actually just an individual so when i set up my marketing profile i didn't upload anything into the team component which means that it's going to make this email look weird because there is no market center team logo well how do i upload something such that this won't look weird but isn't my team logo this is what I highly recommend doing, is to actually upload a transparent PNG file that's just a blank logo, such that then your email will actually look like this. There's actually a logo behind here, but it's just a blank box. If you guys have a PC, if you have a Mac, you can probably do the same thing just using a different program, but on a PC, you should have a program called Paint. If you go search for paint and actually bring up the paint program, you can go into paint. And what we're going to do, first thing we need to resize the image and choose pixels. And that pixel is gonna be 360 by 360. So we're not gonna maintain this aspect ratio. We want the vertical to be 360 pixels as well. And we're gonna choose okay. From here, we don't have to do anything else. We're not actually making a logo. We just wanna save this as a blank file. So if we go to File, Save As, and save this as, whoops, a PNG file. Yep, you can see I've already done it in here. So just call it Team Logo Clear PNG. Make sure that the Save As type is PNG File and click on Save. Then we're gonna go back into our marketing profile inside of command. So we're going to go back to command. We're gonna get out of this email design for right now. And we're gonna go into the settings menu. Inside the settings menu, we're gonna go under KW, or excuse me, connect settings, marketing profile, and scroll down to the team logo. Now you most likely won't have this remove button. You may just have the upload button. This is where you would click on upload. You would choose that clear PNG file, open it, and then make sure again, you come all the way to the bottom and click on save. That's going to bring in that clear PNG file such that the logo then just looks like a blank piece of space. 
Now I've had some people create some interesting things, even if they're not on a team, like here in Texas, I've seen someone do like the state of Texas with a little heart inside of it or whatever. There's some different things that you can do, but if you don't want to be creative or you don't want to think of something else, just simply upload that clear PNG that'll get over that portion of it. But again, this is one of the number one reasons why I always recommend you test your email designs because this doesn't look very professional. Now that we have that clear PNG, that looks a lot more professional. The last step that we want to do is kind of put the pieces together. So if you'll remember on day 33, I taught you inside of campaigns how to create an email campaign. So as a quick walkthrough of that again, the campaigns applet is the megaphone. Let's go to create a campaign, choose email, and in this case, I'm just gonna put in test. Obviously, you would go through the steps that we did in day 33 and make sure that you have it done correctly. L name your campaign correctly. But I just wanted to show you here at the very bottom, right? We would go through the same steps of day 33 and create our recipient list and our subject line, etc. But here is where you can click select design. And this is where that design we've been working on over the past couple of days would show up. If we choose that, it'll take us into the editor and then we can choose save. And then it's going to show you what that actually looks like. So if we cancel out of that, yes, we wanna save our changes. And then from within campaigns, here's what that email preview looks like. If you remember on day 33, we didn't have anything to preview. Now we have the preview because we have now created our email design and you can see what that's going to look like. From here, you would go through again the steps to send out the campaign after you've created your recipient list, added your subject line, etc. All those steps from day 33. So just wanted to put the two dominoes kind of together. We talked about campaigns to start because the campaign applet came first. Then we moved into designs, but just kind of a throwback to day 33 and how you would actually select this design once you have now created it. So always good to send yourself several test emails, make sure everything looks good. If you're a solo agent, go into your marketing profile and upload that transparent PNG such that the design will look good when it comes across. And then you can actually now begin the final process of creating that campaign, sending out your just listed email campaign to the contacts you think would receive that valuable content. That's it for today, guys. Hope as always, you're having an amazing day. I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.